Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Tiandra. Thank you, thank you, thank you for stopping by and checking out the recap of Love and Hip Hop Hollywood Season 2 Episode 11. Yes, honey. Let's get into this foolishness. You know it. Let's get into it. First of all, I got some lighting. I had lighting in the last video, and so just bear with me. Um, let me know if you like this lighting. Um, give me a thumbs up if this lighting is uh, improving and getting better. I have it like in another position, so just let me know if this lighting is good. All right, so anywho, let's move on. Let's start off by talking about Monice and her heart on her sleeve ass. Like, what is she doing? Now things are on the up and up with her and Fizz. Now, ever since they had that big breakthrough um, convo and they, they shed some tears, he told her that he was there to support her. Um, they have been on an up and up. They are now co-parenting with their son, um, what's his name, Cameron, and everything is looking fantastic. He is so happy that she has finally stepped up the way she's supposed to, and she's so happy that now he is giving her the support that she always wanted. So with that being said, um, he took that opportunity to basically um, chat with her and let her know, listen, I want you to be my leading lady in my new video, Good Lotion. And um, she was like, okay, okay. He also took that time to tell her that he's kind of dealing with Nikki Baby and he's, he's feeling her. So she's trying to give him a little shade, but you know, long story short, she kept it sweet and very classy about that. So then she goes and meets with Tierra Marie and her and Tiara are chatting it up, and she tells Tiara that she thinks she's falling in back in love with Baby Daddy. Now, mind you, she's with Rich Dollars. You know, this is the one that she <laughs> she didn't got him to move out here. She's been talking about rings left and right. She, he got she got him meeting moms and and baby daddies and all this foolishness. This this dude is jumping through hoops, and now she's telling Tiara Marie that she thinks she's back in love with Baby Daddy because which is Fizz because you know we are just perfect right now and the way this relationship is right now is how she always dreamt it should be and she just can't help but that these feelings you know are kicked back up and all these emotions are kicking back up and that she's going to basically express her love to him and see what he says about it so Tierra's like oh shoot girl all right girl whatever fast forward they do the good lotion video which i want to see it went well apparently he had a smile on his face and he was very happy and appreciative that she was the leading lady so then they sit down child this girl started to get so damn emotional she's crying and it's expressing her love and how she feels like, you know, have you ever thought about us getting back together? I mean, where we are right now is so great and I just can't help but to say that, you know, I'm in love with you still and I would love to see if we can work together and be in a relationship and have our family back together. And Fizz was like, listen, girl, er, like, wait, girl, like, I just wanted you in this video. I'm just here to be a support system to you, child. I'm not trying to be your man. I don't think that's a good idea. The where, where we were in the past was a hot mess, and I can't even see myself coming back to that. I think the best thing for us, for Cameron, is for us to be just like we are as friends and being there for him. And I think he handled it very well. He treaded very lightly with his response to her. Um, but he was tripped the hell out. So she was crying. They hugged it out. And um, then she left. So Nikki Baby surprisingly walks in and says, yeah, you know, I just want to support you. Well, shit, you should could have supported him 10 minutes ago and came to the doggone video and was his leading lady. Like, what was that all about? I don't know. So she said, I know, I just, but I just came to support you. You know, so how did everything go? And I just saw Moniz. I just said hey to her. And he was like, yo messy ass them two are messy them two are messy anyway he's like yo let me tell you what she just said she up in here crying and stuff and i just need to tell somebody so this is what she just said and you can kind of see nikki baby being a little jealous like you know i would step aside if they want to make that work but she kind of was like you know what you don't want to get back with her like i understand if y'all get back together you know because y'all had a family at one point in time you sure you don't want to get back with her and he's like nah i'm good like I just can't believe she would even think we would get back into that space again. But no, I'm good. And so she was like, you know, I thought he was, she was messing with Rich. And he's like, I thought so too. I don't know what's going on. But anyway, so they leave that alone for now. But you know Nikki Baby with her messy ass gonna start something. It's Moniece, you had your chance. <laughs> you had your chance with this boy. 
sometimes, you know, the bad outweighs the good, honey. And, you know, you know with how it was. And you know how crazy your ass is. And that boy don't want to be bothered with you, child. Like, go sit down. Go ahead on be with Rich and be happy. Now you done messed up something. You probably done messed up your relationship with Rich, too. Why are you talking? Go sit down somewhere. Go write in your journal. Write your feelings in your journal and go sit down somewhere. Go go burn it or something in a fire. I don't know. But go sit down. Because now you done messed up this other relationship that you almost had with this boy, Rich. Okay, so let's talk about Ray J and Princess Love. So, Princess Love is on her entrepreneur crap right now, and I don't blame her. She's trying to do her boss thing. She's working on her line, her swimsuit line. She's trying to get ready for the runway show, and she's really focused. She's trying to make sure that everything goes off without a hitch, and it's just flawless. On the other side of town, and he's just talking about, oh my gosh, I just realized I, I have an epiphany. I'm actually really in love with Princess Love. It's so, we're so much in love that it's like, it's dangerous. And you know, nobody has ever took a rap for me. And if you take a rap for somebody, that means you really down with them. And um, I really am in love with her and I want her back and I miss her. So this boy is like, listen, you are Ray J. You, you a thought, like you are a hoe. Like you have all these girls all the time. And with your lifestyle, nobody don't want to be bothered with that. But he's like, no, you know, I used to be out there bad. And now I'm like turned all the way down. I'm at home. I'm watching pornos. I'm doing this and that in the house by myself, trying to do what I need to do to take care of myself. <laughs> and I'm not even out there no more. Like for real, like she got me really thinking like I'm in love with her and she is the one. So he's like, all right, dude, if that's the case, then go go profess your love to her. Go out there and try and see what she says and, and, and try to get your woman back. So he's like, yeah, I'm going to try to get her back. I'm explaining to her, you know, that I'm changed and, you know, this is all, you know, this is the new me and, and, and things are going to be better. So fast forward, he goes to her house. Knock, knock, knock. She's like, what's up? Hey. She's like, okay, you don't got to hug me. Like, she is very distant to him. And he's basically like, so what's going on? I'm going to come to your fashion show and I want to be there to support you. And she's like, I really don't want you around. And he's like, what they got to do that's coming? Is a man coming to this thing? Why you don't want me around? She's like, no, it's not that. I just need my space. I need to focus. And then she talks about her dad. And I guess she hasn't seen her dad in a long time. And she really realizes from her taking that trip out to Texas Texas I think so that um her taking that trip out to Texas that um she had some deep-rooted issues beyond Ray like it's way beyond that it's way more than that and she has some daddy issues and she really needs to take the time to really get herself together and find her own happy without a man and I really appreciated that I really thought that was like real big girl of her to to realize that she needs this time to herself and she needs to figure figure it out and be her own happy before anybody before she can love anybody else so he wasn't having it he wasn't trying to hear it but he was like okay well i'm gonna support you from afar and we know whatever you i just want to be friends and i just want to you know pick up the back to the old times and us hanging out and and just chilling and stuff like that but you know he you know he he ain't trying to take no for an answer which later he goes and he waits outside um of the fashion show when it was all over and said and done she comes out and he has these big huge pretty bouquets of white roses i mean dozens and dozens of roses and he's out there by his car he's waiting for her and again, he tries to profess his love to her, and she shoots him down again. Bang, bang. Like, she shoots his ass down yet again. Like, listen, I'm glad you got the, the color white. White is the color of friendship, and that's why I think we need to start. If we're trying to get back to where we were, we really need to scale back and become friends and trust each other. You already said you don't trust me. I already don't trust you, so why would we go ahead, you know, dive right back into that relationship let's start fresh and as friends and then maybe we can work our way back to a relationship he wasn't trying to hear that shit but you know what he agreed and he's like okay but he's still not giving up so that was that so let's talk about this fashion show with these fabulous fashions <laughs> lord jesus all right so milan nikki baby and princess love they had their little fashion show you know milan had the the male underwear nikki baby had the lingerie and princess love had the swimsuit the fashion show was like in this warehouse setting and um everything looked pretty good everything everybody was moving the models were had had the outfits on and looked like everybody was getting everything done and then all of a sudden all of a sudden you see hazel e look on her phone and she gets like spooked like she's like what what 
Tierra Marie tells her in this message, I'm, I'm assuming she tells her in this message, like, bitch, I'm bringing my ass there. I'm coming right now. So I don't know what, what actually was in the text, but whatever it was, it spooked her to death. She left. She was like, deuces, I ain't got no type. I ain't trying to be bothered. I don't want with no drama. I'm done. I set y'all up. Y'all good. Goodbye. And she was MIA. She was gone. And Milan was like, wait, hi, what? What? What you doing? Like, where you going? So he's like, this is so unprofessional. Just not even like her. I don't even know what the hell Tierra Marie said to her. But she, her ass is like, I'm out. And my thing is, you was big and bad up in that doggone fitting why all of a sudden now you you ready to go like i don't get it so she was out y'all so um miles went back to nikki baby and princess love and he basically told them what she said and that she's gone and they're like you know it's all good we as the, the we as the designers we can take care of this we can handle it all by ourselves so and they did and, and it was really good you know people came out they had their mc um and then all of a sudden as people are getting seated and things you see um monice and she's sitting front and center and then all of a sudden when they announce that they're about to start she dashes off and this girl this little sneaky snake she goes and opens up the back door tiara is waiting like 50 cars deep i'm just playing like about five six cars um suvs deep with all her models already dressed into her blazers and they storm into the back door and they you know they're, they're waiting to do their grand entrance so after everything was said and done and the mc was like all right thank you guys everybody did a great job thank you guys for coming all of a sudden you see tiara marie strong j her ass up in the piece with all her mouths and I mean I ain't gonna lie like she did that like they came in like yes honey like I am here look at my pieces y'all didn't think I was gonna have my shit ready it's ready yes but it was very 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 rude and unprofessional um and you know she crashed her thing and that's not cool but I understand that she was feeling some type of way, but still and all, you know, you could have just had your own fashion show with your own fashions and invited all of them to come, you know, and they would have been just great and fabulous. But no, she wanted to be a little hood, a little ghetto, and, and that's what she did. So Princess is like, she going in. Instead of her ass being quiet like Nikki Baby, she is going ham. She is pissed. She is letting her know, like, you look so trifling with your little polyester pieces. And Tiara, again, was still trying to be real respectful, like, hey, your pieces are cute. She's like, I know. And I'm just like, Princess, you, girl, how old are you? Like, chill out. Chill out. Yeah, she was wrong, but chill out. You, y'all two going back and forth, tit for tat with the microphones. Milan literally had to say, okay, thank you, God bless. Thank y'all for coming out and good night. Like, he had to cut it because they were being so childish and so stupid. It gave me life. I ain't gonna lie. It, it, again, it gave me life. I mean, you know how I, I love the ratchetness. So then they have their meeting and Tierra Marie brings her sidekick, Monice. Like, why in the hell are you bringing Monice? But I get it. She was kind of afraid that they were gonna gang up on her again like they did at the fitting. So she wanted to have her support system as well. But damn, get somebody else. Why are you gonna get Monice crazy pop off ass? But she did. And Princess was there. Um, Nikki Baby and Milan. Tierra Marie and they're trying to settle and hash it but then all of a sudden princess is pissed that Monice is there and Monice ain't feeling princess so then they get into it and then they flying drinks are flying again and then it goes off like that they always trying to throw a drink like come on drinks are expensive like child please I ain't wasting no drink on nobody <laughs> I was just saying I ain't doing it so anyway so it was very short very sweet um, I enjoyed it a little bit of you know the little bit of rashness that happened at the fashion show I live for it. Let me know what your favorite part of the episode was Thumbs up this video for the lighting that I am trying to perfect. I am trying. I'm trying. I'm trying If anybody have any ideas anybody does videos and you have lighting um, Leave me some tips I would greatly appreciate it. Greatly appreciate it. Like as far as angles is concerned, cause I don't know what I'm doing. I got the equipment, but I'm still learning. So yeah. So anyway, thank you guys so much for watching and don't forget to comment, thumbs up, subscribe and share this video. All right guys, until next time, peace later.
and all that. This was her opportunity to finally express herself. Okay, she been you can tell her ass been writing that crap down in a book.